Big Brother's bit on the side. Now, tonight, Daly will be here for his first interview outside of the house. He'll be having his say about recent events that have rocked the house and the show for the past 48 hours. But before we get to that, let's meet tonight's panel. And they are a cracking... Is someone who takes the term royalist to the extreme. Just the mere mention of the Queen, Prince Philip, or even Fergie will turn her into a blubbering wreck. So let's hope that Kate keeps her legs crossed for the next 60 minutes. It's Sarah McLean! <laughs> <laughs> next up is the actor known to millions as Jimmy Corkhill in Brookside. He's one of my legends yes. from my youth, actually. Uh, he's up there with Scylla Black. Christopher Maloney and Sonia as one of Liverpool's biggest exports. It's Dean Sullivan! <laughs> and finally, we all know the saying, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Well, I would kill to have this one as my BFF. It's TV legend <laughs> and diamonds. <laughs> So, recent events have obviously shaken the house. Uh, Sarah, do you think we might see everyone's behaviour and attitude change now that this has happened? Yeah, I think you'll see Hazel's behaviour change, obviously, because I think they were quite close. Um, I think she might have got a little bit of a shock from the episode of tonight. She said she was feeling guilty and stuff. So, yeah, I think there'll probably be a change in her. Also, Dexter, I think him and Daly were quite close. Yeah. And obviously you saw him crying. I think he's a bit upset. Yeah, and Sam also is, is quite... Oh, yeah, sorry, he's gone. Um, I don't think they exactly know what's going on yet. I think half of them think, is this real, is it not? Obviously what happened with Gina and Dexter before going into the yeah. safe house. I don't think they really believe 100% it's true. But I think when reality kicks in, I think you will see change. I think Dexter probably will be upset. I think there's more tears to come from him. OK. Uh, uh, Hazel uh, said to Dan that she doesn't want her whole time in the house to be defined by her relationship uh, with Daly. Um, and do you think... Do you think she can make that happen? Can can I don't know. I mean, if she's not careful, now? her whole time will be defined by what yeah. happened in the last 24 hours. It depends on her behaviour now, uh, whether she does feel guilty. I mean, clearly, she, we, well, we're seeing a bit of that. Show, we've kind of seen yeah. her say that. We're seeing a bit of that, although Dan is reassuring her, you haven't done anything wrong. And, and I think she, she is beginning to understand that if she had really done anything wrong... Big Brother would have got rid of her as well. Um, so maybe she will start to rationalise what's happened and then it, it won't be like a great black cloud hanging over the rest of her time in the house. Um, but she, it's interesting that she's already worried about it. But yeah. if she didn't want her whole experience to be based around daily, I don't know why she kept pursuing it and why she spent so much time with him. Like she was she's, playing she's, with fire she's all the time, around now saying, she? oh, I don't want my experience to be based around him. Well, if you didn't want that, then... Why, Why spend you, your whole time? Yeah, exactly. Uh, how would we like to see um, Hazel go forward from here? Yeah. I'd, I'd tell you what, I've, I've supported Hazel for the last couple of weeks and I'm a, I think she's a little fortunate to still be in the house. But I think the way she moves on now, she needs to ingratiate herself to all the other housemates so she's not put up for eviction. Because the minute she's up, the public will vote her out. So that's what she needs to do. Give 100% in all the tasks and just basically try and befriend all the other housemates. Should she be out? Yes. 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 Let's take a yes and a no, just to be fair. I think we've basically shot ourselves in the foot. We've put her in the house, we've got her immune, and now we need, we need, a ha uh, we need her out because she has basically messed up. It, it takes two to tango. Absolutely, it takes two to tango. Um, and who said no, we don't want her out in the house? Uh, we don't think no, but we think she should stay in because she hasn't really done anything wrong at the end of the day. Like, she didn't ask for anything. Like, she never insinuated more than, like, banter. Like, she was just being friendly and things just snapped into a turn for the worst and she didn't expect that to happen as it did. So she should stay in because I think she's a nice girl and she's got more to show with everyone else as well. Uh, yeah, some will say she hasn't done anything wrong. Some will say... You know, she pulled someone's pants down and yeah. slapped their mm. backside. Mm. If that had been done to a woman... Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't story. have been okay. He was in bed. He was in his bed, yeah. lying in his bed. She said to him, come, can I have a cuddle? And he, he didn't appear to want to go to her. Yeah. She pressed and pressed, took his duvet, then pulled down his shorts. So she instigated the situation that happened. Yeah. They both played a part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, obviously, there are two sides to every story. It's... it's 50-50, we can't blame one and not the other because, you know, they have both indulged in quite a lot over the past four weeks. Uh, this is what she had to say about everything this morning when she was chatting to Dan. 
I'm not worried about the inside effects, like him being not being here and blah blah. I'm worried about his life outside. Because he's a good, decent guy. He doesn't deserve anyone to cast him as any anything, you know what I mean? Because he wasn't violent or rough for uh, like I'd hate him to be brandished because you know how the press can be. Uh, Dean, what do you make of that? Well, I think she's making a very um, valid point. You know, you've got to remember that these were two people thrown into um, a, a, a situation where something was bound to uh, kick off. But at the end of the day, Big Brother, ha Big Brother has rules. And, you know, if those rules are broken, yeah. then, uh, you know, uh, punishment is meted out. Absolutely. But she keeps changing and chopping and changing her story. Firstly, yeah. she said, oh no, when she went in the diary room, she said, oh no, it was friendly banter, then I got frightened. Then she went and cuddled him again, and now she's saying, oh no, it was nothing, he wasn't threatening to me. So if she went into, what I think, if she went into the brother last night and said, no, it was friendly banter, I didn't feel threatened, would he be chucked out now? But she said one thing and then another. That, yeah. That's kind of hard to know, but I think they, they have to act on what they have seen, mm -hmm. and, and that was, you know, could be seen to some people as threatening behaviour. So, you know, it, it's, it's a very And rules are rules. And, and you know, rules are and, rules, and, absolutely. And people also get upset by seeing that sort of situation as well. Yeah. It was wrong what he did, but I just don't know why she keeps chopping and changing her mind. OK. Well, maybe that's something we talk to her about when she comes out. Um, so the housemates refused to believe that uh, Daly had been removed, as we've seen in this evening's show. Um, do you think, Anne, Hazel should have told the group? When she, when she sat back down and she kind of said she didn't... I no, think why? she's going to have to at some point because you've got it. We know what happened, but the, most of the people in that house don't know what happened. Um, and I think if she doesn't tell them in the end, and she's got to be very careful how she tells them, then they're going to start making up their own minds about what happened. Mm. Um, and that will seriously threaten her ability to stay in the house. So I think she's told Dan um, and she's calmed down a bit. And now I think maybe, maybe in a couple more days when she's rationalised the whole situation, she ought to sit down and tell them what happened. Because I think, I think they deserve to I know. I think it's really interesting, though, that the dynamic now between these two, Dan and her, is such that they have a secret. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. who's going to yeah. blow this secret it'll be, first? It'll be interesting and for what reason is that secret going to be blown? If he tells anybody. Hmm? I don't think he'll tell. I don't think I think, I think, I think, I think she, she will probably bust a gut in the end. She'll have to tell yeah. somebody. I think it's quite, as we've said, it's a sensitive issue. It's a very delicate issue. And, and I kind of believe her when she says, I, I don't really want everybody knowing about it in the house because... No, but the others do deserve to know because they're all wondering and they're going to make up their own minds if And he was a housemate for. along with them yeah. as well. Uh, Dan's proved, obviously, again, to be uh, loyal with Hazel again this evening. Um, and do you think Delhi's departure will make Dan now become the kind of main man of the house again? I'm sure he's thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, of course, he is already looking at... It depends on who's evicted, of course, because that will change the dynamic. But the dynamic has changed, and Dan is now beginning to look like the, the big, trustworthy father figure. Yes, he is. OK. Um, Sam was a good friend to uh, Daly, and I, I would imagine will kind of feel the loss. Um, we kind of only ever see him on the outskirts of the group, really. We haven't seen a lot of Sam. Do you think this is going to affect him even more now, Dean, that daly has gone? Has he kind of lost his connection with the I with think the so, yeah. We saw him sort of lying on his own on his bed at one point, didn't we, um, during the programme? So, And he's always struck me as a bit of a... A bit of a loner and a bit of an, an isolated figure. We don't know a great deal yeah, about him, do we? But he yeah. might be a dark horse wait, waiting to, you know, stalk up from the back. Yeah, he kind of seems to have Callum, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, but then, everyone's turned against Callum. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, now, Jackie, she wasn't in a good mood this evening with Dexter, was she? Hey, Dexter's manners have got him into trouble. Uh, do you think that she could have maybe been slightly easier on him? Yeah. Oh, Jackie's <laughs> just a big moan bag. She's just always... She, you know, he's just getting a bit much now. I think she's cracking. I think she needs someone maybe like her own age because she's got no she's one to go... She's finding it difficult, yeah. I think, now, around the others. Being that they're so much younger than her, she's, it's starting to show now, yeah. you know? Well, it's, it, it's, I suppose, partly because uh, he think, she thinks that he fancies her daughter, mm. uh, partly because of his manners. Do manners really affect you in the house, Sora? I mean, yeah, they do, but obviously, I don't know if you're referring to this, but he said, can I get seconds? And she yeah. just went mad. I mean, I love my food. I would say, you know, I probably wouldn't even ask, can I get seconds? I would just go and take it. So the fact that he's asked for seconds, you know, is he's got manners. I don't know how it's bad manners. Yeah. Um, he's obviously hungry. He's asked. 
is there enough for seconds? And I think it's maybe underlying issues. I think she she's, just doesn't like him. Does no, she, I don't and think. maybe that's just an excuse for her to go mad. Plus as I mean, well, I, I think, think she likes to dominate the situation at times as well. She likes the sound of her own voice oh, at yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, she? yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. You no, know, so she's making her own point, but sometimes it's a useless point. Yeah. Who okay. cares about seconds? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just take her. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Gina very quickly. Uh, we saw a very lively Gina during nominations today. Touch of the Nikki Grahams about her. Do you agree? <laughs> just a little bit when she was in the dining room slating Jackie. Um, what do you think is going on there, Dean, with them two? <laughs> well, they obviously dislike each other, but I, I like Gina. I think she's got a, you know, she's got, she's got balls, if nothing else. Yeah. You know, and she doesn't mind saying what she thinks. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, when she was actually saying to, uh, to what's her name, uh, to her face, you know, I don't actually Lisa. like you. Yeah. Lisa. I remember that. I don't like you, and she kept saying it and repeating. And I thought, well, at least <laughs> she's got the guts to stand up and say it. Uh, thank you all very much. Um, if you'd like to have your say, then I'm going to be back in the phone room tomorrow night. So give us a call on the usual number. Still to come, Daly's first interview outside of the house. But first, here's what happened when the Bit on the Side producers asked Jackie and Jack to help fill some airtime. Be prepared, please, for Just Hands. <laughs> Reality Bites back, 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 yeah. Hello, Jack and Jackie. Hello. Hello, you all right? It's that time again when we need you to entertain the Bit on the Side no, viewers. Okay. Oh, I always struggle oh. with these. I don't know what to do. Okay. Shortly, you will hear a special song that you just might like the sound of. All right. So, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, go then. Good. Let's jack. I want your body. Everybody wants your body. So let's jack. Let's jack. I want your body. Don't get into it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's jack. Let's jack. Let's jack. Okay. Right. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Let's keep this between the three of us. Oh, OK, if you want it that way. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side. Nominate us, bitches! Nominate us all you want, because we ain't going nowhere. You got that good? I'm glad it slid up. I don't know where that came from, it's just there. Uh, right, time now to see what happened when AJ joined Wolfie's pack and went down on a little jaunt to the farm. Bless. So you lot decided that enough was enough and gave Wolfie the boot on Friday night. Let's face it, she was out of her comfort zone. So I decided to bring her somewhere that is right up her street. Let's go find her. All right, Wolfie, what do you think? Loving life on the farm, obviously. It's so good. I have been dying to get you on my own for a nice little natter. I know, right? <laughs> I know. So exciting. <laughs> Look at this. Perfect. Fine. This is the perfect scenario. I know, right? <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your relationship with animals. Do you get on with them better than people? Um, to an extent, we're on a level. We're on a level, AJ. So our court's usually quite chatty. Probably one of the chattier species. Well, has he been watching Big Brother? Why don't we ask him? Billy Girl, have you been watching Big Brother? That's an obvious yes. Yeah, obviously. What do you have to teach me? I'm a bit tired, to be honest. <laughs> OK, well, come on, let's move on to an animal that's got a little bit more banter, eh? Let's do it. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Do you feel more in tune with the bees? Um, as it goes, yeah, they've, they've got quite a strong message. Um, they're basically telling me don't get stung by the whole process. <laughs> Enjoy it, be wary, and see what happens, you know? Interesting that. I thought they were just going to say that they are absolutely buzzing right now. Did it? So, what's the natter? 
This one's quite nice, AJ. Um, these cows are talking about people in harmony, kind of like the Big Brother house, but yeah. you know, without as many curveballs. Very harmonious. These two cows are female, so there's a strong possibility that we may have a little lesbian romance going on here in the farm. What? So, Wolfie, this being a bit on the side, I had to, um, I had to strike a bit of a deal with the farm manager. You didn't pay? Well, no, but it's fine, isn't it? Because, you know, we only need to shovel crap for a couple of hours. Oh. Come on, uh, it's great. Okay, let's do that. That's it, Wolfie. Doing really well. Yeah, nice one. This is all the work that I thought, isn't it? It's quite... It's quite intense. I had a lovely day. You know, I think this will all be worth it. Right. That was amazing. Uh, so tonight saw the return of straightforward Diary Room nomination. Yeah. Yes, finally. Let's remind ourselves of who nominated who. Our first nomination is Dexter. Dexter. Uh, Dexter. 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 I don't trust him. Jackie. Jackie. How can I dislike someone's mother so much? Callum. 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 Um, because I still feel like I don't know who he is. Callum. 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 Sometimes he comes over a bit bulldozerish. I think he needs to decide who he wants to be. The twins. Jack and Joan. The twins. Oh, I love the twins, but then they keep nominating me every week. Gina. 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 Unfortunately, I am going to have to nominate Gina. Um, Anne, after losing immunity from the safe house, was it just inevitable that Dexter and Gina were going to be up again? I find them very difficult to love. I'm sure they are lovable, love nice people. About them? But yeah, well, you, no, I don't. No, no. At the end of the day, I'm really irritated. So. Uh, yeah, and it's not surprising at all, really, is it? It was just waiting to happen. I think they're 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 easy to pick, aren't they? Gina, uh, just, as she far never as the rest of the house pouting. Going. It's her pouting that gets me. She's always pouting, and she's always posing. And it's really difficult when you've been in the Big Brother house for this long. Usually by now, you've lost the the, the sense that cameras are always on you. Yeah. But she hasn't. She's still. I think that's posing. just her. I think, Do you think it, she it does it in her. her life. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just her. Yeah. yeah. I think maybe it would. As she said, maybe it would have gone by now if that wasn't yeah. her. But I think she's just like she's just that kind of girl. Yeah. Um, now Dex has nominated her for turning people against him. I'm so sad. Uh, is the double act over, Sora? I don't know. I mean, that is quite strange that he's nominated her. But or, yeah, because they've grown so close since being in the safe house together. Yeah, but I think it was the whole thing about the daily thing. But they never really spoke. It, they never spoke about yeah. it. Yeah. So they don't. I, I don't think that they'll grow apart. I think that might just get pushed under the carpet because I don't think they'll ever find out. What about you guys? Would you be sad to see the end of this kind of fabulous yeah, relationship? Yeah. That I think, has I think been... to the public, they're like a couple of cartoon characters. They... I, think, I think they've endeared themselves <laughs> to the public. They went in hated, but now they're quite cute as cartoon characters, yeah, you know? Are, and they? I think we'll keep them in again. I think, I, think, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think Jack is yeah. in trouble this week. Yeah. Oh. Rylan won't be happy. From the man himself. <laughs> um, now, when nominating Dexter, Sam said it was because he was like Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Uh, it, Dean, is this the best ever nomination we have had for, for years, if not just this series? Without a shadow of a doubt, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I think is interesting is that uh, the nominations um, tonight are all the most interesting, for me, all the most interesting interesting people in the house. I wouldn't really like to uh, lose any of them yeah. at this stage in the game. Yeah, I, I agree with you, actually. I feel uh, sorry for Callum. No. I do a little bit. No. Mm -hmm. he's, he's become the new kind of easy target, think, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not saying that I like him, but I, I, just, I feel sorry for him. I just don't think he knows himself. Maybe. I think, yeah. Well, okay, well, please, please, please let's keep Jackie. Please, let's oh. keep Jackie. Oh. And, 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 like, <laughs> I love her already. Are you speaking to um, the older woman? I think um, I must yeah. be. How dare you, oh, sir? <laughs> um, I think I must be. I think, you know, she's fed up now. She's living, it's like living in student digs and she's beginning to get at people for their tidiness and things like that. But I love her. She's got such character. Well, we'll see on Friday. We'll see if she stays. Let's talk about the twins very quickly. Um, they've only had one nomination previously, but tonight they've received three nominations. What is going on? Where are they going wrong? I think it's more joy. Hello? Where are they going wrong? <laughs> Anyone? No one? Yeah, no, yeah. You normally talk. They're boring. That's what's I think going they're wrong. funny, actually. I, I, 
I like them. They need to get up to more mischief, though. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They need to get a little bit of devil They seem to have been knocked a little bit, don't they, since finding out Gina said that Joe was Bitching. a bit of a yeah. bit bitchy. But she didn't, she didn't explain herself there. She didn't say, like, why he was being bitchy. She didn't. Do you think they would um, do better as individuals? Yeah, J Jack would. Mm. Obviously, but not Joe. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, don't, I, I don't mind Joe. I feel a bit sorry for Joe because it was all like, Jack's great, Joe's horrible. Yeah. And um, so he'll really feel that probably when he finds that out. Yeah. But they just need to go back to how they were and have fun. I think it's all getting to them. They're halfway and it's... It's going to, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Five, four, five weeks in there... So much has happened. I think they're you thinking know, about it too to much. Instead of just being themselves like they were before, I think they're thinking about it too much. And I think maybe what Gina said to Jaws, obviously, I yeah. think that kind of... It, it's happened. had an effect and on And I him, think their it? problem is that they probably think that everybody likes them. But in actual I thought fact, most people did. No, I, I, find, they, I find I them quite think, in, insipid and, yeah, and boring. Think, and, I, I, think, I don't think they do think that. I think they're quite worried now about yeah. what people are thinking. They do seem to be quite worried. They didn't take... Um, there is a fly in here, by the way. <laughs> no. um, they didn't take the nominations news uh, very well, but here's how they were getting on this morning. I think Dan nominated us just because of his reaction. Yeah, Jack and Dan had a bit of a spat, but they both called each other the same names. But we moved on. So we've, at the end of the day, whatever happened happen now and there's a we could go over everyone and we could become suspicious of everyone going you voted us and you voted yeah, us but there's but literally no the point? point well it's not going to be so there's like no need to mention you're, it really you're the one that just said to people jack that nominated us yeah i said but we're not going to be like that yeah and i just said that again yeah i know but why do you always have to do this i'm not oh every time you go so what's the point in <laughs> what's the point of saying it why, why do you argue every time we're in because every situation? time you put, you put in a point that doesn't need to be put in i was you finishing the point all the off time. meh meh I think it's kind of nice to see that their arguments are still exactly the same. Yeah. Are, you, are you guys pleased that they're kind of this morning woken up with fresh eyes? And That's what I like better? about them when they argue with each other. I find that hilarious. <laughs> and sort of, I mean, this is my sister and we do the same thing. Do you? Yeah. All the time. Oh, my goodness. This must be a nightmare. Uh, OK, so for the first time in weeks, Sam and Sophie have not nominated each other. It's quite unbelievable. Uh, Dean, do you think their little silent feud that kind of never came to air is finally over uh, possibly but uh, you know we're only sort of are we halfway through the game yeah. now so yeah. there's still a lot of time uh, left you know and as i said before those two seem to be to me dark horses there's, there's a lot on more the outside, underneath they? and they take it away. all in yeah but big brother yeah. doesn't show a lot of them but nobody else in the house has got a problem with those two apart yeah. from themselves yeah it's very it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Um, let's talk about Callum. A whopping seven nominations. I feel sorry for him. Um... Um, is he the most isolated person in there, do you think, Anne, at the minute? He looks it, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. And I think he is, and um, that's a lot of nominations. It is. Um, so he'll be feeling it, too. But I think he's confusing people, he is, isn't he? Because... He's... Much earlier on in the series, he was sort of uh, being quite boastful about his conquests and so on, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. And now, and now he's changing at He's changing. Completely. Now, I wonder whether that's a game he's or not. He's trying to become more likeable. Is it a I game or confused. is this the real him? I don't think he know, really knows. I think, I mean... I, I think he's trying to be what he thinks people want him to be. Yes. yes. Mm. And that's why the word trust keeps coming up. Yeah. Um, it's used it's against changing. Dexter as well, but yeah. all of the housemates are saying they don't know whether they can trust him. Because he keeps and it is this feeling. Changing. Yeah. Well, he's, that's he's the confusion, changing. isn't it? Because last week he was nominated for being too nice. This week, it's um, because of his laddish persona. So what do you think he should do? I think he should be himself, but I think he's finding it hard. I don't think... I think his heart's in the right place. I just think he's just... I think he's quite strange. <laughs> but... <laughs> but I don't dislike him. I feel quite sorry for him, because I think he's just trying to be... I don't think he knows, really, who he is. But can any of them be themselves? There. Because, you know, this is a game. Let's and there's two people that have been in there. Yeah, it's game hard. Plan. It is hard. Can you be yourself? No, you, yeah, you can be yourself, but I think, obviously, he might have gone in and didn't really know who he was, and he's trying to kind of fit. I think he really likes Charlie as well, and I think that's... But they him. are aware that the t clock is ticking on, mm. and the, I mean, they're beginning to talk about it, who's going to win and will it change them and things like that. So, yeah, so they're, they're, thinking, they, yeah, they're yeah. thinking about it now. So they will all starting to be trying to put forward yeah. a personality they think is sellable. But I don't think that's what Callum's doing. Yeah. I think he's just a bit confused. It, it is quite confusing because he does kind of flip from who he is from one minute to the other. He nominated Jackie this evening uh, because he thinks that Charlie will have a better time in there and feel mm. differently without her. So um, is this the only obstacle that Callum is facing as far as Charlie is concerned? Does it, do you think he needs to get Jackie out of the way and then 
he will win his woman? No. <laughs> I think he just needs to be himself. And I think, obviously, I think Charlie's a bit confused because first he said that he slept with nine women or something. Then his VT came on and said that he slept with loads of women and he's a womanizer. And then he said, oh, well, I just said that. But I don't, I don't think he is a womanizer. I think he... When no, I think like lots of men, he's just making up that number. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's what I think. Yeah, he yeah, thought that would right. he thought that would impress us for heaven's sake, but he's got that wrong. Uh, yeah, so no, totally. second week running, Jackie is facing the public uh, vote. Uh, now, when nominating uh, her, <laughs> Gina called her inconsiderate, insensitive, arrogant, <laughs> and ignorant. Uh, do you agree, Dean? Yes, she is. I mean, she likes the sound of her own voice, doesn't she? Really, and. Um, Usually what she's saying is rubbish when she's making those sort of accusations and, uh, you know, mouthing off. And I'm assuming you don't agree? I don't agree at all. No, I think she's really lovable. And I think when she does criticise others, it's because they've just, they've, you know, it's, she just can't take any more. And she's usually right. Well, I think she needs to go and get a, a plaster cast over her mouth and then <laughs> give us all a bit of peace. What do you think? It, what are you making of Jackie? I love her. You love her? She reminds me of my mum, you know, and she's just like a mum in the house. And I think that everybody needs a mother figure, figure you know, just for a hug when they're feeling down. I think she's lovely. She is really quite good her. if you just need some. Uh, her and Dan, I think, to kind of just go, you're being ridiculous, yeah. and just kind of neutralise the whole thing. Uh, right, OK, thank you all very much. Still to come, join me for our exclusive interview with Daly. But first, another eviction is looming with Callum, Dexter, Gina, Jack and Joe, and Jackie all up for the chop. Who goes? You decide. <laughs> This week, Callum, Dexter, Gina, Jack and Joe and Jackie all face a public vote. Who goes? You decide. From a landline call 090 2050 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. From a mobile call 650 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. For Callum, add 01. For Dexter, add 05. For Gina, add 06. For Jack and Joe, add 08. For Jackie, add 09. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. For full terms, go to channel5.com forward slash BB vote. Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side. So in tonight's show, we saw Daly removed from the Big Brother house. And to say that the story has caused ripples, not only through the house, but also amongst viewers, is an understatement. Daly is asked to come on the show tonight to draw a line under the matter once and for all and to have his say. Um, firstly, how are you feeling? Um, don't know what to think, really. Just a bit low and stuff. Confused? Mm. Um, have, you, have you managed to watch the footage back yet? Yeah, and um, first of all, I just want to say um, if I come across um, offensive to any woman out there, uh, then I'm sorry because um, I'm not malicious and I, I would never ever do anything to a woman or, um, or disrespect a woman in that way. Um, things got out of hand and now I take full responsibility and I shouldn't, shouldn't have took it to, to, that, to that level. So, do you, you, do you understand why you yeah, yeah. had to remove I can, you from Yeah, the I can understand in the heat of the moment. Um, I probably didn't understand, but then after I calmed down, I, as a TV programme, I understand, you, you know, there's certain lines you can't cross. Mm. And um, I just caught in a, got caught in a moment. And, um, yeah, I deeply regret it. And I, as I said, if I offended any woman out there, then, I, then I'm sorry. So, what, what do you think happened? Um... I was hungry all day. Um, I had little to eat. Um, I'm a lightweight because I'm an athlete, so I'm not really... You don't really drink, do you? I don't really drink, but in there... In the beginning, I never really dr drank that much, but I felt like a bit of a... Like I wasn't with the group if I did, wasn't drinking with them. Right. So I started drinking, and um, then it became an everyday thing, and, and then that, that incident that night... Obviously, I had four glasses of um, alcohol and then two bottles of champagne. Right. And I was really tired that night and I just wanted to go to sleep. And um, it escalated from there. And it was all a play fight joke. I would never, ever, ever want to do anything to all and whatsoever. Never, ever. Um, obviously, we know that, that the house is, is it's a hive 
of emotions. Um, was it harder in there emotionally than you thought it would be? Yeah, coming in there, I'm one of them. I'm probably one of the people. I don't watch Big Brother that much, but before coming in there, the shows I did watch, I used to think to myself, oh, why are you getting so emotional for? It's a show you wanted to go on a show and stuff and everything like that. But then when you're in a situation and then you're locked in there for 24 seven and um, I, I just let the whole show get the better of me. I, I went in there as one person <coughs> and, it, and it changed me, you know what I mean? <coughs> Um, you, you, you said to Big Brother that, you know, and, and to us, uh, that you guys were play fighting. Mm. Um, what are your feelings towards Hazel now? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's right to comment. I want people to make their mind up about her and, and, and judge what they see. And then if I'm in the wrong, I, I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't even want to waste my breath on, her, uh, on chatting her name, really. I let everyone else decide and um, think what they want to think of her. I'm coming here to apologise and, 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 you know, do the right thing and apologise to anyone I've offended. I don't really care um, what I have to say about Hazel. I let everyone else deal with that and make up their own mind. I think, um, I think it, it's obviously quite difficult because watching it last night, you know, you, you could kind of see that, you know, you were kind of... Um, play fighting and and she was play fighting and then suddenly just towards the end just got a little bit seemed to get a little bit dark but yeah. but I, I you know it takes two and and we've watched you know for the past four weeks at how it's got very intense between the two of you and and it takes two to tango you know um, hazel hazel was willing to to flirt till her heart was content do you I know mean, what i mean so this yeah. is in no way a this is all your fault, I think. Yeah, and it, I, I, pre I appreciate that, but at the same time, I've still got to take responsibility. Absolutely, And, yeah. um, you know, I've got to be a man and, 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 and say to myself, I w I've done things that I should never have done, and I hurt someone that I, <coughs> I should have never hurt on, on there. And I <coughs> let the show get a bet with me. <coughs> um, uh, a few of your housemates did kind of... did warn both of you about the kind of flirting. Um, do you feel that before that night it ever crossed a line yeah yeah i actually did i i, I mean people only see obviously the, the the edited shows and stuff like that but when you're in there 24 7 there's loads of times in there where i i, I said i said i actually had deep conversations with hazel saying listen we've crossed the line i used to i, I would ask her as questions as well D tell me now be straight with me right as a woman now am i crossing the line am i crossing the line she'd go no you're not doing nothing wrong nothing wrong and um in my part and in my wrongdoing, um, I, I carried it on where when I shouldn't have, and I should have listened to like my best friend in there, Dexter, and they, and listened to him and took his advice. Along the way, I took f a few other people's advice, like Callum, uh, even Gina. I never had really had a connection with her, but I should. We did took see it. quite a few people yeah. kind of I try to. But the thing is that all the way through, I've uh, I was so annoyed with myself at the same time, and um, I can't explain it. I just, my whole, I just let it, the whole show just change the way I am, and because I'm not, I'm not like that. Um, we met Katie mm. last week. She mm. came on the show, which was really lovely of her. Yeah. Um, and she was obviously devastated mm. by watching, you know, a possible relationship form with somebody else. How are things uh, with you guys at the minute? And she's here tonight. Katie's here with Daily this evening. How are things with you now? I can't really answer that question. Um, she, she, know, she knows I love her. Um, I've, I've, I've explained everything, but I don't want to try to, you know, try and um, explain too much because I don't want it to come across like I'm trying to beg for her back because I don't deserve or um, t f for her to even speak to me again. So... Who am I to try and even beg for her back? So I haven't done none of that. I've just ex explained and um, what happened, what I've done wrong. And uh, sometimes you got to be a man and just own up to what you've done. And um, just not uh, coming onto that show, there's a lot of things I had to deal with as well, uh, personal stuff. And um, aside everything and everything what happened and me being a complete idiot, um, big brother, 
really helped me and, and, and changed me for the better. So for the first time in my life, I didn't want to get removed like that. No. That's not the way I wanted to go. And I don't think anybody else wanted to see you removed in that way as well, because you've been really popular outside of the house until what happened on Sunday night and also inside of the house. You know, no, it's, it's changed my everybody life. Everybody likes I, I, you. I thank, I thank Big Brother, seriously, because I didn't even want to come on the show. I, I just felt like, you know, it come to a point in my life where I, I don't really want to explain on TV because it's like too, I get too emotional, but it come to a point in my life where I just, I, maybe this will help me and um, sort out cer certain situations and, and demons I've got revolving my past life and stuff yeah. with my family and everything like that. And, and I was hoping that they would see that because for the first time I can come out, um, it's not the way I wanted to go, but for the first time I can at least hold my head high up high and um, feel free for the first time in my life and not, not live a lie and not hide and um, be scared to show everyone who, who I am. And um, regarding Katie, I, I, I've always loved her and I just, I was, I was weak in there and I let the show beat me and I've got to be a man and admit it. Well, I think it's testament to what a lovely woman she is. She's here with you tonight and, and you can only hope that, that things will you know, work out between the two of you. I can um, hope, but I, I will never expect because no, she does absolutely. deserve what happens, so I will never expect anything. Um, going back to your housemates, um, Sam and Dexter, both devastated. I, well, the whole house is just so shocked by it. I don't think they all quite understand what has happened. Um, but Sam and Dexter, quite obviously devastated that you're gone. Um, will you miss any of them? Yeah, I, 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 especially them people you mentioned because <clears throat> going on to that show um, <clears throat> little I'm not used to being around like big groups and stuff yeah and that, that was one of my um, things I feared going on the show um, is eating around a simple thing like eating around a dinner table with, with people and facing them and having to communicate with them I've never been in situations like that I'm someone who likes to be by myself and alone yeah. uh, even my own brother, who I've been through stuff through all my life. Even him, um, um, sorry to him if he's watching because I haven't been a good brother in the way we meet up for an hour and then I'll, say, I'll make up excuses and lie, say I have to be somewhere when really I'm just going to go back home and just be by myself. That's how I've been for, the, for a large part of my life and big brother has changed me. And uh, people like Dexter and Sam, uh, you, you know, I never dreamed I would meet all these different yeah. characters. And, it, and it's just opened me up to so many different people that I wouldn't ever probably, because I'm a closed book, so yeah. I'm one so man. So to do that I, is a big step Yeah, for you. I've got one friend, I've been friends with him 15 years, yeah. and that's because he gets me, he understands me, and um, I'm, I'm afraid to anyone to come in and, like, break yeah. that. So, would, yeah. you, um, would you like to see one of those two win, then? <sighs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, Sam's an inspiration for, you know, you, you know, the reasons that he's gone in there and he wants to be, you know, inspiration to other kids and, and families, what might have hearing difficulties and stuff. So he, um, he, he's an inspiration for what he's doing. And we're pretty similar because I'm going on there to be inspiration yeah. for people who have had a similar life to me. And he's doing the same. We're so, we're so different, but so, so similar. And then Dexter... <laughs> I always said going in unique. there. Unique. Yeah. <laughs> He's so unique. I always said going in there, I want to meet someone as crazy as him. Because yeah, I, I don't like the everyday kind of person. I like someone who's unique and different. Yeah. Um, Daddy, thank you so much. I do appreciate that you wanted to come on and you wanted to get your point across. And, um, and I wish you all the, all the best for the future. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Uh, still to come, we have all the latest news from the house. And you'll find out how Rylan has managed to wangle his way back in. See you then. News. At 10 o'clock this morning, Big Brother previewed this week's shopping task. This week's shopping task housemates will be at the mercy of Big Brother's remote control. The remote control will pause, rewind and fast forward housemates through their day. Pause. <laughs> pause. Play. What's 
Control here, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Can I get me a remote? No, just shit you lot. You really are. Uh, still with the task, uh, still with the task at 11 29 this morning. The housemates paused and with your paused. feet, the way you pause. God, I missed it all. I was in there. Oh, oh my God, is that poo? Oh my God, there's more poo. <laughs> How the hell did Dan miss the sheep? Where the flock was he? <laughs> oh, I know. At 1.45 this afternoon, the housemates paused for some unexpected guests. What do you see from Charlie's body language here? Quite strong female. If you notice, it's quite a large stride going on there, and there's quite yeah. a good degree of pit bearing now. The amount okay. of gap under the armpit normally denotes how confident somebody's feeling. Would you say Charlie's in a quite a confident mood today? I would say in a very confident house mood. She's been quite... This is quite splayed. Obviously, body If I look like that in a bikini, I'd feel confident, let's I, be fair. I, I, me too. We have seen some emotions come from Jexter regarding Charlie. Is he looking at a bum? This... Let me just see the angle of the eyes. So normally if you draw a straight line down. But you notice that the glasses have actually been lowered yeah. to allow a much more direct... I would say that angle is probably right cheap. She's broken a wrist, bless her, so we ain't going to see any of the uh, Jackie Travers moves, you know? Yeah. Uh, That's actually the Jackie Travers moves. And I'm missing them. As we know, Dexter and Callum have both shown affection for Charlie. Mm. Who do you think she would rather stay out of the two of them? That's going to be... I, I would say at the moment, if she's been watching the signals, I would say that she'd rather Callum. I think Callum's a little bit more manageable. I think Dexter's the one that will come in from left field. Maybe a little more, more of a loose cannon? Yeah. Yes. He never misses an opportunity to do a little Jackie Travers <laughs> dance. Uh, that's today's news. Ian. Hello. What's happening? Well, talking about the task, yes. we've got all kinds of exclusives online about right. that. We've got behind that the scenes... That looks brilliant, yeah. that task. It's, it's kind of ignore the obvious. It is slightly, mixed, mixed but a little with, bit different. like, zap or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got a behind the scenes with Rylan as he went into the house. OK. Uh, Always Rylan. Why yeah. can I go in? Well... Favouritism. Yeah. Uh, we've also got an interview with Dexter's mum who was in the house earlier on. We've got the exclusive Texas clip Mama's of that. Dexter's mum was in what there. What else has been happening in there? Oh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, there was a good moment earlier where a wasp landed on Dan's face as he was trying to stay paused. Oh, that didn't no. last very long. There was a wedding party went through. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, this is an exclusive. No yeah. one else has heard, ever heard this. There's going to be a conga line in the house. Yeah. There's going to be a barbershop quartet. Good. And a beautician who's going to be working on them as they're paused. Amazing. Yeah. Um, what else do you need to do? You've got 15 seconds. Live feed, online, right now, 12 o'clock till 2am, channel5.com slash brother plus an iPhone and iPad. Oh! Mm. Uh, Ian, thank you very much. It's, all it's right. always a pleasure. Never at all. Yeah, sure, uh, that's all we have time for this evening. Thank you to all my guests and wonderful audience. Tomorrow, Lucy Spraggan, Big mm. Brother 10's Rodrigo, and Michelle Heaton and Julie James will be here. Have a lovely night. Good night. <laughs>